Hey guys, it's Quentin's Postgre. Some of you know me, Kaden Slosky, but I like Quentin's Postgre. So yeah, so today we are going to be doing some more quizzes. Do your movie trilogy options actually suck? <coughs> okay, so our first, um, Cornetto trilogy, don't know what that is, but I don't, never watched that, so... Lord of the Rings. I've never watched Lord of the Rings. Well, crap. Okay, Toy Story. I've seen this. My favorite one. Which one's the one with the bears? And where, like, they have the Ken doll and then, like, Barbie turns on him. Which, one, which one's that one? I feel like that's the third one. <laughs> that was my favorite one. <laughs> Best movie in Dark Knight Trilogy. I've heard of Dark Knight Trilogy. But I'm... Star Wars. Everyone's gonna hate me for this probably, but I do not like Star Wars. There's... Return of the Jedi. I've heard of that one, so that one's gonna go. Spider-Man Trilogy. Well, crap. I don't like any of these movies. Okay, I just went through this test and I don't know very many of that one. So I had to literally change it. And a few of these I don't know the people, but I know some of them. So, which... What's that word? Wait one second. Antihero. Must go. Well, Walter White. Mostly, I don't know the first few of these ones. Detective, Sherlock's not going no matter what because Sherlock Holmes watch Sherlock. It's on Netflix. Hashtag not in response. Um, Inspector Morse, I know that one. John Luther, I know that one. Don't know Miss Maple, sorry. <sighs> Too bad. Sherlock Holmes should have been the last one to go. Lawyer. Well, the one from The Simpsons isn't going because, well, it's The Simpsons. I don't know any movies really at all with lawyers, so Saul Goodman. And then Queens. I accidentally clicked on a queen. Which king must go? I only don't know the, um, Joffrey and Uther. Joffrey, you're going bye-bye. Okay, so this is where things get hard. Which cartoon dad must go? Well, I'm not gonna, like, tear away my childhood of the Rugrats. Um, I loved the Rugrats. Um, probably Stan Smith. I'm sorry, Mom. I know you love American Dad. But sorry. I just have to. I obviously can't take away Roger when it comes to aliens. Chan Finster, Chas Finster was the first to go, and now I'm really sad. <laughs> and obviously the Doctor from the Doctor, from Doctor Who can't go, so Spock. I don't like Star Wars or Star Trek. Everyone's gonna hate me now. Um, I, the Flash can't go because it's a Big Bang Theory, and Sheldon loves that. No, Roger was the first one to go. My God. Jessica Jones. I don't know that one, so. I mean, I might, but. The first one to go was the Green Arrow. Yeah, he's he's very infamous. Superhero? Superhero, superhero. Super. Not a super. Zero, I was just seeing superhero and it's super villains. I've only heard of Trickster. So. And he looks really cool, so it's between these two. That one. I choose you. Okay, so let, let's move on to a different quiz. Did your parents give you the wrong name? Let's find out. What makes you sleepy? Not very much. A sizable meal. Just a bed, really. Watching TV, some soft tunes, reading in bed. After reading a while in bed, I'll just be like, passed out. Pick a Pop Tart flavor. Ooh. Oh, what was that sound? Chocolate chip. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. 
My favorite one is brown sugar cinnamon. I love that flavor. <sighs> Amazing. If I get the most generic name ever, I swear to God. I'm not a Jessica, I swear. Which of these will make you cry? A sappy commercial. I can't cry during commercials. Everything is made... So many Shane Dawson things. All just com all commercials have some supernatural meaning behind them. I have something in my eye. Ow. What is in my eye? Dogs reuniting with their owners. No. The movie Up. No. I'm... I'm... Leo DiCaprio winning that Oscar. It's actually really funny because a smosh, there was a smosh thing in the, the not movie, there is a movie, but the YouTube channel Smosh, they did a thing, and it was every Oscar ever. The movie Up, I'm Heartless, I didn't cry during that movie, I didn't find it sad at all. Any and all of these, nope, onions! <laughs> I've never actually cut an onion. Ash. Wait! Never. I was just like about to be like, what the heck? I don't like that. But then I was like, oh my god. Children of Eden promo. Wait one second while I promo this book. Okay. So I got the book. You can just look at my little face cam up here. Children of Eden. And her brother's name is Ash. And I was just like, oh my god. Joey grows up a moment. And there's even a little picture of Joey in there. <laughs> yes. Now I have to put this book back up. Buy it. I'll leave the link down below. And also watch Jorger Suffer Girl Die. Okay, so we're doing which 2000s Disney character, Disney channel parent are you? I feel like I've got my my um thing up here. Um, my Disney knowledge. I couldn't even name it, so probably not. How many kids do you want? I want to get a TV show so I can be like the people love of 20 kids and counting. No. Um. One. I just want one. I want to spoil it. It's time for you to pick a Disney movie. Um. My choices are Lilo and Stitch. The Lion King, Hercules, The Little Mermaid, Alice in Wonderland, Beauty and the Beast. Well, considering not, I'm not really that into bestiality. Um, I'm gonna, um, or drugs. Um, I can can a mermaid can a can a fish and a human be bestiality? Cause she used to be a fish, and I don't I didn't really like The Lion King nor Hercules. So Lilo and Stitch. Besides, I loved Lilo and Stitch. Just one of the reasons to hate the other ones. Which ex Disney star would you most like to hang out with? Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and of course she's there. Actually, I feel like between me it'd be between Hillary Duff and Raven Simone. So I don't know which one to choose. Hillary Duff. Shane Dawson would be proud of me. What is your favorite 2010s Disney Channel show? I feel like, um, I used to love Shake It Up. Oh, fish hooks. Oh, my God. Well, my mom's favorite one is Girl Meets World, but I'm all for fish hooks. I forgot about that show. I used to love that. How old are you? They don't have my choice. 15 through 19, apparently. How old do I look? Can I pass this 15? <laughs> what is your current relationship? I'm single. I'm dead. <laughs> single. Sam McGuire. I'm part I'm part of the McGuire family. I Shane Dawson would be so proud. Everything is just Shane on this channel. Okay, we're doing how popular are your hairspray opinions? My favorite musical is hairspray. Though I did not watch Wait. I was mixing up <laughs> I was mixing up the I was mixing up musicals. But 
Hairspray is my favorite musical. And then my second favorite one is Grease 2, just because I like to sing the song reproduction over and over. My favorite teen is Penny. I don't know why. Yes! How is... How is... I can see how Amber's the last, but how is Tracy only 16%? What the heck? Which adult is your favorite? Well, I think... Well, Corny. He was pretty awesome. Mmm... Yeah, actually. Maybell. I can't pronounce. Motormouth Maybell. I love... Yes! Prudy is the last. Wilbur, Velma. How is she not the last? Yet yeah, Amber is. Ugh. Which adaptation is the best? I can't see. Wait one second while I see. Okay, I think I'm going for the 2007 one, but I can't really see, so I hope I'm not getting this right. Which one was John Travolta in? Ugh. Hairspray Live was horrible. It was horrid. Best Tracy, Nikki Blonsky, by far. Thank you. Who was the best Link? Zac Efron, by far. So, who are my choices, though? Michael? Yeah, Zac Efron. <laughs> Everyone's liking my choices here. How many sweaters do you own? Plenty. I love sweaters, if I'm reading that right. Plenty. I own so many. Who is the best penny? Once again. Oh, why? Ariana Grande, no! No one likes you, Ariana. No one liked the 2016 live one. No one. So, Amanda Bynes. Oh, I never actually knew that Amanda Bynes played her. That makes me feel... It makes... It's weird, because now she's insane. She didn't seem insane back then. But Amanda Bynes... Thank you, I'm feeling so much justice. Most importantly, who was the be best Edna? John Travolta. I was right. John Travolta was the best because John Travolta was... The best. John Travolta. Was Ariana Grande good? No, I can already tell. That, the dress in the movie was not that showing. No. Ugh. This one's gonna be hard. I love all the songs. I have to go through all these real quick. Okay, so I'm between three songs. It's You Can't Stop the Beat. The nicest kids in town because it was so racial. It was messed up. And then without love, and it's only that because Penny in that song was hilarious. So, um, mm, I I'm gonna go with the nicest kids in town. It was hilarious. So hilarious. Four percent? Oh, your timeless to me was my least favorite one too, because I'm very impatient and it was too and it it was too long. You can't stop the beat was number one. Good morning, Baltimore. Welcome to the I just about said eighties. Sixties, ladies choice. Run and tell that mama I'm a big girl now. I know How the nicest kids in town was the best one, so I don't know what any of you are talking about. But anyways, bye guys. Subscribe, and when you subscribe, you become one. With the basket. Society.